So Rhodes sent me their Streamer X and uh, wow. Before we even start, this thing is a powerful audio interface. This thing is also a 4K capture card. This thing is also a soundboard. This thing is also a macro pad. So let's talk about it. In the box, you will find the Streamer X, a chunky USB cable, and a two-part power plug, which was the wrong one for me, but I have an adapter. The design on this is pretty clean. I really like the big pads and then the two knobs surrounded by LEDs, then the options you'll be able to switch between. The surprising thing about this was the quarter inch thread at the bottom. So this could fit any desk mount, tripod, monopod that you have. Then turning it around would reveal all of the connections. The first one being USB-C and this will be the power. Keep in mind that you plug this to your PC, most likely it will work. But if you wanna use it with mobile devices, you might wanna use this power plug that comes with it basically. Basically. Two more USB-C's and then we have two HDMI ports, one HDMI in for your video and one for the pass-through so you can see whatever you're using on a monitor. Then we have the two jacks as I like to call them. For headphones you have the 3.5 millimeter what I call the mini jack and then the big jack for more professional headsets and things like that. Now the most important you have your XLR port and a button that says P48 that is for your 48 volts phantom power for certain microphones. As soon as you plug it in you're gonna see those awesome colors. I'm not gonna lie, I ended up pressing all the buttons for several minutes just to play around with the colors and see how it works. The pads basically have a minimum brightness and then when you press them, they go to the maximum brightness, which is a setting that you can actually adjust in some of the software. When you turn the knobs left and right, the LEDs around them actually follows, so you can complete the full circle for maximum volume. And of course, you can press on those knobs to switch modes on the mic one, and the other one mutes the monitoring. The two pads under that will mute the microphone, and the other one actually cuts the video. So let's say you're live streaming and maybe something pops up in the game that you don't want to show to your audience. You can just press that button and it will cut the image. Then we'll have four main pads. This is where you can store your sound effects, your voice changers, and all sorts of effects and functions that you want them to do. The two buttons at the bottom will help you navigate between them. And I believe there's 64 or 65 total button that you can assign. All right, we got it plugged in. We know what the buttons do. Now we need to go to roadx.com slash unify to download the software. And you're gonna see there's actually two different software that you could use this with. The first one is called Road Central and the other one is Unify. They're kind of similar when it comes to what they do. They basically help you configure your device. You can customize the pads if you want to add more sound effects or you want to determine what they do. You can set up presets where you have different volumes for your different input and outputs. You can add filters to enhance your voice and basically tweak it so it sounds exactly like you want. But I think for live streamers like myself, we would most likely be using Unify because it allows us to manage multiple audio sources on one screen. Also, Unify has a record feature that's very useful. For the capture card part, they kept it very, very simple. I'm gonna put the specs, input, output, all of that pass through on screen right now. And it's pretty simple. You plug it in and all you have to do is make sure you use their cable because it's like a powerful, super fast cable thing, USB 3 and all that. You plug it in, you go to a software like OBS, add a video capture device, and then you will see Streamer X. They don't seem to have a whole software manager for the video part of it. So all you have to do is handle it in OBS. I think it's pretty cool that it actually comes preloaded with some sound effects like classic and also some of the filters testing one two three that's one of the filters testing one two three that's another filter you can click on them oh sorry you can click on them to customize them oh and you quickly see that you can get a lot of effects testing 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 testing. I am a robot. I am a robot. But it's still kind of limited because I didn't find anywhere to input VST plugins, for example. This is the megaphone effect. Testing. I'm speaking through a megaphone. This, this is, is the is echo, echo effect. effect. And that's the reverb. <laughs> As we can see, those three effects can stack. So megaphone plus reverb and also echo. But those three cannot. So the robot voice and the voice disguise or the pick. Which shift you have to pick. Okay, uh, overall, I think this is a great device for someone who's starting out, who didn't necessarily, who probably invested in very, very cheap stuff that's just not getting the work done, or they just don't have anything yet. Maybe they have like one USB mic and that's it. They don't have a capture card yet or whatever. This helps people basically save so much money and so much effort really into let me get a capture card that comes with its own software and I have to learn how to use this and how to make it work. Let me 
get an audio interface that goes with an XLR mic and figure out how that software works. Keeping in mind that a lot of those mixers or interfaces just don't have a good preamp compared to this one. I mean, we're talking about Rode here. <laughs> oh, now I want something where I can press buttons and activate effects and all of that. It all of this in just one device that's not taking a whole bunch of space on your desk that's powerful looks good and has a bunch of leds <laughs> that being said i don't think it's for people who already have a fully fledged like setup if you have a capture card and you already have your interface and you already have this and have that i'm not gonna tell you throw all of that in the trash and upgrade to this but if you feel like something is missing and you really want an all-in-one save space and also save money and headaches with a bunch of different software this is pretty good now it's important Important that I mentioned that to me the biggest like negative part of this is not the hardware at all the hardware to me is like a 10 I shouldn't be giving ratings but it's a 10 out of 10 I think this is a 10 out of 10 when it comes to hardware one thing that's very important is that all of the effects and things like that that are triggered through the software they're actually internal so you're not gonna get weird delays you actually don't even need the software to actually use them and that that is something that is really, really nice. I'm always scared about new hardware depending a little too much on software because it makes it risky. Maybe, you know, a bad Windows update and everything is broken. This will not happen with this Streamer X. <laughs> but I feel like the software needs a lot of work just to make it feel a little bit more intuitive. There's a bunch of tiny little things that I found in the software that made me go, this shouldn't be, this shouldn't feel like that. This doesn't feel satisfying. Things like if something is clickable, make me feel that it's clickable. If I hover my mouse over it, I would love to see it blink or do a little thing or scale up just a little bit. Let me know, hey, if you click on this, you can interact with it. I don't know if it was mostly designed with like tablets in mind. In that case, you're not gonna be hovering over anything. You're just gonna press. I'm hovering over those buttons here and those are buttons, like they're not just labels. If I click on them, I actually have options, but it's not doing anything. For example, this is Road Central and same thing. If I hover over anything, whatever, I don't know if this is like showing me a tutorial or if they're clickable actually I do know because they are clickable right and here I actually don't even have like a visual of me speaking into the mic so I have, I have to look up OBS to make sure that it's capturing my voice right now and I have to come here and same thing I'm speaking in the mic and it's working right now but I just don't have any visuals I don't know maybe it's my software that's buggy but I find it strange uh, those are the effects that I have on right now and which is why I sound so good I'm not gonna lie it really makes it so that any mic can sound good effortlessly. Like those three things, depth, if I turn this all the way down, I turn the sparkle down, you're gonna probably notice uh, quite of a difference, we'll say. And I love to having the punch all the way up here, the sparkle a little bit, and then the depth. And now I sound like uh, this is, you know, properly mixed. You can also click on advanced, and this is where you're gonna have things like your high pass filter. So Aphex seems to be the suite of effects that they have. And this is where you can really, really get to customizing your own voice to make it sound exactly like you want it to. But that being said, the default presets are pretty, pretty nice. They're usually the things that you would want to do to any microphone. Okay, last thing before we end, there's actually the third button, the one that looks like the Wi-Fi logo that allows you to actually connect to wireless mics. So if you have the, the Rode Wireless Go, I believe it's called, you can connect it wirelessly. And since this is a setup on your table, if you've ever wanted a wireless mic connected to an interface with some effects and all of that, that would be super easy to capture via OBS Studio while you're streaming, there it is. It's here, it exists. Now you can have your cooking show on stream. You can do whatever you want, walk around with no issues whatsoever. And that's it. Huge thanks to Rode for sending it to me. I'm gonna keep using it for now. And if you wanna look up all the specs and all the little details, there will be a link in the description. On their website, the specs are pretty detailed, which is really cool. And I will see you all next time. Go out there, make me proud, get level, out.